Ah, uh, geek, geek out. Pinkies up. Time for another geek out book club. I'm Sam. I'm Jake. And this week we're going to be talking about a land called Taro uh, by uh, Gail Bertrand. Comes out tomorrow, February eighth, in comic book shops everywhere and on Comicsology. Jake, what do you think of it? Let's see. Creative, silent. No, it was a uh, uh, frog mask, nudity, swords, sky colors. It's uh, <laughs> it goes more abstract. Yeah, uh, yeah. Breaking up. Um, it's it's one of the most creative books I've read recently. Yeah, it's um, two things that I love in comics more than anything else, which is uh, silence. There's no words. The sound. There's no fucking words there. Of silence. Um, <laughs> yeah. There's no words. There's no onomatopoeia. Uh, there's none of that. And it's also all done by the man himself, which is astounding as well when you read it. Because it is, without the without the nuisance of words and onomatopoeia, you know, in the... A, yeah, it's a visual medium. Yeah. It, uh, you know, in the original Conan Marvel series, there's no onomatopoeia. They didn't notice it for like a long time. But, uh, and, and Stan Lee was like, why? We should add that. And they're like, no. <laughs> okay. Um... It, uh, but yeah, you, 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 you digest and you, uh, look at everything. You take so much more time with it. You're not worried about reading this, you know, because you, it's just, it's all there in front of you without words, you know, without any, you don't you don't need any of that shit. Um, and you know, the fir- I was reading the first issue thinking, okay, it'll be a first issue set up and then it'll really give you another world. And I get to the second issue. I'm like, oh my God, this, I, I love it, you know, and, and it, you know, I would go back and forth and just, just you know, the colors and everything that he did is just, it's an amazing book. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Uh, I feel like art-wise, I've heard some people compare it to, like, uh, Hirsch's work with, like, Tintin. But for me, it's closer to, like, Akira Toriyama mm. with, like, Dragon Ball and all that. He's got the, there's, there's uh, for me, there's a definite Japanese influence in there. Um, and, yeah, Frog Mask. Yes, Frog Mask was, um, Your favorite was the, defining, chapter? the defining moment. <laughs> Uh yeah no I mean it's I mean for me it's just one big oh it's uh, a, it's a graphic novel it's one big uh adventure you know mm-hmm. um and I said it's just it's just I don't know I love thinking outside the box and being super creative and putting out a graphic novel without a single word in it you know in terms of you know telling the story there's there's things before each book kind of you know like a title here and there but uh it's wonderful you know. No, I loved totally. it. I loved it, it. It is top marks, glowing. I mean, we we love this thing. So, you know, definitely uh, keep an eye out for it. Again, out in comic shops everywhere in Comicsology tomorrow, <laughs> February 8th. So, oh, man, no excuses. Yeah, get on that. So this has been another Geek Out Book Club. I'm Sam. I'm Jake. Keep reading. This has been another Geek Out production. If you enjoyed what you heard, hey, you know, we've got a special episode every Friday. Of course, there's the usual catching up show every Wednesday. And you get book club episodes just about every Tuesday these days. Thanks for listening.